Investors had a rocky year, but those with a stake in cryptocurrencies have had it even worse. The price of Bitcoin has fallen to its lowest point in 18 months, from an all-time high of 68000 and almost all other cryptocurrencies followed Bitcoin's lead, with investors worried about soaring inflation, Ukraine's conflict, and monetary policy adjustments in the US. The crypto markets have been a victim of the more significant market sell-off of risky assets. The crypto and stock markets are growing and collapsing in comparable patterns, even though they are not typically linked. Because of extreme market conditions, cryptocurrency lender Celsius said in June that it would freeze all withdrawals. Three Arrows Capital, a cryptocurrency hedge firm, may also be insolvent following the market crash. Bitcoin's price has fallen significantly, but some analysts believe the worst is yet to come. In the current economic and political uncertainties, the recent crypto market fall serves as a warning to investors that crypto assets are more volatile than traditional investments, especially in times of economic and political instability. You don't base your investments on news-related fear or excitement, say financial experts. Stick to the video to learn more about today's topic, where we will be going through the regulation of cryptocurrencies in 10 different countries. Different governments have adopted different ways of regulating cryptocurrency as they have grown in importance in global investment. There is still a rift among governments across the world about regulating cryptocurrencies as it moves from speculative investment to a solid asset class. Now you will learn country-by-country -country summaries of the present state of digital currency regulation. 1. United States While finding a consistent legal approach at the state level is challenging, the United States is making headway in drafting federal cryptocurrency legislation. The Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, or FinCEN, does not recognize cryptocurrencies as legal cash but it does recognize cryptocurrency exchanges as money transmitters since cryptocurrency tokens are other value that substitutes for currency. The Internal Revenue Service IRS does not consider cryptocurrencies legal cash. Instead, it characterizes them as a digital representation of value that operates as a medium of exchange, a unit of account, and a store of value, and has provided tax guidelines in this regard. 2. Canada Although cryptocurrency is not recognized as legal tender in Canada, it may be used to make online or in-store purchases. Canada was the first jurisdiction to authorize AML-related regulation of cryptocurrency service providers, mainly under provincial security laws, as money service companies to safeguard the public. Recently, the British Columbia Securities Commission registered the first cryptocurrency-only investment fund under the Proceeds of Crime and Terrorist Financing Act. An official notification from the Canadian Securities Administrators in August 2017 said that current securities regulations apply to cryptocurrencies and that they are technically considered securities in January 2018 by the head of Canada's central bank. The Canadian tax rules apply to Bitcoin transactions and the Canada Revenue Agency has been taxing cryptocurrencies since 2013. 3. France In France, cryptocurrencies are highly regulated. According to Article 2 of Ordinance No. 2016-1635, amending Article L, 561-2 of the Monetary and Financial Code, crypto trading platforms and brokers were subject to anti-money laundering regulations in December 2016. The French government also initiated a framework for registering securities on the blockchain in 2016. Ordinance No. 2017-1674, which went into force on December 8, 2017, expanded blockchain registration, beyond small and medium-sized businesses, SMB, bonds, to all unlisted assets. United Kingdom The UK government set up a cryptocurrency task team in 2018 due to the regulatory ambiguity around the technology. Before requiring extra AML CFT and taxes considerations, the task group specified three types of cryptocurrencies and three methods in which crypto assets are employed. An HMRC brief on the tax treatment of cryptocurrencies was produced in 2021, indicating that their unique character means they cannot be compared to ordinary investments or payments, and that their taxability relies on the actions and parties engaged in the transaction or investment. An official document in the United Kingdom's tax authority was released in March 2021, entitled Crypto Assets Manual, which outlines the tax responsibilities of cryptocurrency owners and what documents they should preserve. 5. Germany German cryptocurrency legislation states that German persons and legal entities are permitted to buy slash sell slash hold crypto assets as long as they do so through a BaFin license exchange, custodian, or Bitcoin ATM. 
By incorporating it into the German Banking Act, the German Act implementing the amending directive on the fourth EU anti-money laundering directive, made Germany one of the first countries in the world to allow financial institution, FIs, to the custody of crypto assets as a new type of financial service. Banks and FIs in Germany are subject to a negative interest rate policy, or NIRP, which has resulted in several high net worth people hoarding their money in cash and precious metals kept in safety deposit boxes. Customers who want to avoid NIRP now have another option after Boffin enabled banks to hold Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on behalf of their clients. 6. Australia There are no restrictions on the use of cryptocurrencies in Australia. Australia's cryptocurrency policies and laws are likewise forward-looking. Australia's Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Terrorism Financing Act, or the AML-CTF 2006, Section 5, and its accompanying provisions apply to cryptocurrencies. To put it another way, Bitcoin is considered property and subject to capital gains tax, CGT. Under Australia's GST, Bitcoin transactions were previously taxed twice. The government's progressive approach to cryptocurrency regulation is seen in this shift in tax policy. The Australian Taxation Office, ATO, subsequently increased its GCT reporting enforcement in 2021. The ATO may impose a penalty of 75% of the outstanding tax debt if it discovers a reporting violation relating to a Bitcoin transaction's profit. 7. Russia Denis Mantorov, Russia's industry and trade minister, stated that the government and the central bank would eventually legalize cryptocurrencies as payment. Soon after Russian soldiers entered Ukraine on February 24th, the finance minister proposed legislative changes that ran counter to the central bank's call for an outright prohibition. However, everyone knows that sooner or later, this will be implemented in some form. Even while Russia is working on creating its digital rubles, the country's government has only lately come around to approving the usage of private cryptocurrencies. Russians use cryptocurrencies to make around 5 billion or 4.76 billion euros worth of transactions each year. According to the central bank governor Elvira Nabulina, who has advocated a ban on trading and mining them. 8. China China does not recognize cryptocurrencies as currency. Banks in China were prohibited from conducting Bitcoin transactions in 2013, and ICOs in local cryptocurrency exchanges were outlawed in 2017. In its justification for the prohibition, China's People's Bank of China termed ICO funding, which raises virtual currencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum through the irregular sale and circulation of tokens, unlawful public financing. China's tight currency control rules on foreign currencies, including cryptocurrencies, are well known worldwide and it's no surprise that the nation doesn't recognize cryptocurrencies as legal money. According to a 2020 change to China's civil code, state-approved cryptocurrencies determine inheritances. 9. India Indian law does not recognize cryptocurrency as a valid form of payment. There is no effective regulatory structure in India, therefore, while cryptocurrency can be traded, it is difficult for some service provider's technology to function because of the lengthy licensing procedure. Cryptocurrency's tax position remains murky, but China's top tax official has declared that anyone who makes money from Bitcoin would have to pay taxes on it. Other sources from the Internal Revenue Service have argued that Bitcoin revenues should be taxed like capital gains. Despite its vehement resistance to cryptocurrencies, India's government has been receptive to the idea of launching a central bank digital currency, or CBDC. The government issued its Trend in Progress of Banking in India 2020-2021 report in December. RBI Deputy Governor T. Rabi Shankar indicated that both a retail CBDC and a wholesale CBDC are under development, according to the article which disclosed that the RBI is looking into ways that an Indian CBDC may provide a safe and effective alternative to cash. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman indicated in April 2022 that the Reserve Bank of India would likely implement the CBDC within the current fiscal year. 10. Japan Under the Payment Services Act, Japan offers one of the most advanced regulatory environments in the world for cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and other digital currencies are recognized as legal property, PSA. As a result of these rules, Japanese crypto exchanges must register and adhere to AML-CFT requirements. In December 2017, Japan's National Tax Agency declared that Bitcoin earnings should be considered miscellaneous income and investors should be taxed as a result. In May 2020, 
Changes to the Financial Instruments and Exchange Act, FIEA, and the Public Securities Act, PSA, went into effect. Crypto assets rather than virtual currency would be referred to in the revisions. There will also be stricter regulations on the trading of crypto derivatives. Coin custody service providers that do not sell or acquire crypto assets come within the purview of Japan's PSA. Whereas whereas cryptocurrency derivatives are subject to the FIEA. At last, let's conclude today's video. Even though there has been no international regulation of cryptocurrencies yet, the World Economic Forum's Global Future Council on Cryptocurrencies has been working on analyzing the dangers and suitable governmental responses to their emergence. These developments are being closely monitored by central banks and authorities worldwide. Even though countries from China to El Salvador have shared a goal of stabilizing their monetary systems and stimulating innovation and economic growth, they have already begun evaluating and adopting various regulatory measures. Protecting consumers, preventing illegal funding, safeguarding the market's integrity, and fostering innovation are top priorities for these governments. Their methods, on the other hand, vary from each other. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.